guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 different ways you can always look expensive. Now, I know that looking expensive is not the most important thing in life. I think your health, your happiness, and your family are the very most important things. But we all know that my channel is kind of all about luxury items, fashion, that kind of a thing. So I think we all really enjoy looking put together, having luxury items, and I know that we don't all have tons of money to spend on everything. Everything. So I've come up with 10 different ways to always look really good and always kind of look on the expensive side of things And I, I kind of mix and match different ways and I feel like that puts everything together and I just look more expensive So I hope you really enjoy this video now on a totally different note I started my channel my youtube channel about 10 months ago And I really get interested in the analytics the algorithm of youtube and I see that you know I do get a decent amount of views on my videos but sometimes I wonder if those views are people that you know are always subscribed to me or if they're like new people coming onto my channel or if they're just YouTube users that are literally using YouTube as a search engine and they just search and they just watch a video and they move on so I guess I'm gonna try something kind of like a YouTube experiment if you happen to be new to my channel and you do have like an active YouTube account where you subscribe to channels I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below I just am curious to see if there are a lot of people visiting my channel that are active YouTube members and I you know you can definitely unsubscribe later maybe you won't want to maybe you can be my friend and actually stick with me I am a luxury fashion and sometimes beauty youtuber and I would definitely love to have you back if you haven't already subscribed okay so the very first tip that I have and I think it's kind of like a really really basic but a very good tip and that would be wearing neutral colored clothing there's something about neutrals like even the shirt I'm wearing today I specifically wore this on purpose because this is a very very basic H&M t-shirt I think I paid five dollars for, for it it's very very it's kind of boring it's a neutral like pinkish blush color but there's something about this particular like shade it could be beige it could be like light pink it could be white grays just anything neutral and for some reason it takes it up a notch and you just look way more put together and way more expensive I try to when I when I go shopping I obviously don't want to buy the same things over and over and over again but I do think that a lot of my clothing in general are just lighter neutral bright fresh colors and there's just something about that that really makes the overall look look more expensive so it obviously doesn't have to be the same style of shirt it could be you know a t-shirt it could be a button-up it could be a cardigan it could be a sweater anything really but if it has the neutral monotone look to it and I think I try to avoid really loud patterns as well so the next tip I have is pointy shoes so you're probably laughing um, maybe this is weird but for some reason when you put on a pair of pointy shoes whether it be heels or flats there's just something about it that takes it up a notch I have shoes like all over the spectrum I have round toe I have open toe I have pointy I have heels flats mid shoes I have a lot of different shoes but there's something about pointy toed shoes that really really elevates an outfit whether it be casual or whether it be you know very very dressy I just absolutely love pointy shoes and I feel like they really will withstand the test of time there's just something very 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 classic about them them and very elegant but yet you can wear them with so many different outfits the next tip I have is actually wearing simple jewelry so I think that will go a very long way so if you've been watching my channel for a little while now you know that I'm obsessed with Miranda Fry jewelry so I told you guys that I was going to get a silver piece in my collection and I do have it now it is the Cora necklace so it's this long gorgeous um, necklace and this is actually also new and this is the London necklace and it's adjustable you can wear it different lengths but I love mixing and matching simple jewelry and here are my live threaders as well so those are just really easily threaded through my ears so I'm wearing this jewelry non-stop in almost every video I'm I'm probably wearing a Miranda Fry piece somewhere or another. I have bracelets. I just have a lot of the, her jewelry and I love it. I get so many compliments and questions about my jewelry and I always list it in the description box, but I think sometimes people might miss it. But I do have a discount code. It's just my name, Shay, and you do save 10% and get free shipping. But I really think that simple, classic jewelry just really takes you far with your outfit as far as looking expensive and looking well put together. This 
jewelry is just so high quality. It shines like crazy. I mean, literally, it's just so shiny. I just feel like every piece I have, you can kind of wear them differently and work them differently based on your shirt or your neckline or whatever. Um, I just think everything's really versatile and yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. And I just, I definitely incorporate this into all of my outfits, whether it be dressy or whether it be casual every single day. The next way that you can look expensive is actually incorporating entry level designer pieces. So for me, that would be, you know, I have, you know, a little selection of belts. I have my Gucci, my Hermes, and my Louis Vuitton belts. But if you're not a belt person, that's totally fine. I also have my Louis Vuitton bandeau that I absolutely love, and I actually can tie this onto many bags. It doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton bag, um, but this was very inexpensive. This was under $200, which I know is still very expensive, but, you know, it's not a $1,200 or $2,000 handbag that a lot of designer bags are. So this is a way to, you know, definitely bring bring in the designer pieces, whether it be a belt, um, this bandeau. It could also be sunglasses or maybe an actual scarf to wear around your neck. Um, this could be worn around your neck as well. That's why I really actually do like this bandeau because I can wear it on my handbags and dress them up. But then I can also wear this as a scarf and really dress up my outfit as well. So I really also like how this one is neutral like we talked about before. I think neutral colors are amazing. And so when I picked out this particular bandeau, I was so excited that it was neutral colored. It was wasn't this bright, bright pink color or this really, really crazy pattern. It definitely has a pattern, but it's black and whites and beiges. So it can pretty much go with anything. And I love how I could wear this with a lower end handbag and it still, you know, kind of brings in the Louis Vuitton that I love and it has this Louis Vuitton clochette on here. So I don't know, there's just a lot of options that are entry level that you could incorporate into your outfits. So moving on to actually just buying higher end designer bags and shoes. So if you, you know, I think a lot of people when they think about, you know, looking expensive, they imagine the whole package, whereas, you know, you need expensive jeans or really nice shirt and like fur vests and that kind of a thing. And I just don't think that's true. I, I, for the most part, a lot of my clothes are very, very low end. Like I'm shopping at Zara, H&M, Forever 21, um, just low end. Like most of my shirts are very, very inexpensive. But I splurge on the handbags and the shoes. So I think that when somebody's walking down the street, the first thing somebody notices on you is their handbag and their shoes. It's just what pops. The next tip I have is actually incorporating vintage pieces into your wardrobe. And I don't just mean like vintage pieces, like random vintage pieces from like the Salvation Army. None of that's bad. But I mean like higher end vintage pieces that you would find at like Vestier Collective or The Real Real. I'll link some websites down below where they have really nice um, vintage items that you can incorporate into your wardrobe or your handbag collection or your shoe collection. But for the most part, they are definitely a little bit less expensive. The next tip I have is wearing natural makeup. So I don't mean like you don't wear makeup. I, I definitely wear makeup. Um, I know that especially with the Jaclyn Hill palette and the beauty and makeup gurus all over YouTube, you know, Know, it's really cool to have you know crazy very very well done eyeshadow and everything and I love that especially Jaclyn Hill's palette it looks amazing I've been watching tons of videos on it I don't actually have it but for the most part if you watch my videos all of my makeup for the most part is always very natural and neutral looking I wear very matte or shimmery neutral shades and I get so many compliments on my makeup I don't think it's by far anything amazing or anything but I do kind of have this cohesive look I feel like when people are wearing like bright blue and bright red or green or whatever, it has to be done so on point and perfect for it to look really good. If it doesn't look like absolutely perfect, then I feel like it just brings the overall look down. It doesn't, that's just kind of what people are focusing on. Overall, I think neutral makeup is the way to go. The next tip though actually does go along with neutral makeup, but it's actually your lipstick. And I think wearing a bold and more specifically red lipstick looks amazing when you're trying to look expensive. And I know there's so many people out there that are probably gonna comment and say, I I look terrible in red lipstick. I can't pull it off. I just, I just can't do it. And I just think that for some reason, red looks good on everybody. You could be pale as a ghost. You could be this dark complected person. You could be everything in between, but you can wear a red lipstick. Don't go crazy with the rest of your makeup, but if your the rest of your makeup is in kind of neutral, a little bit natural looking, and you put on a bold red lip, I'm telling you, you, you will look good. I don't wear red lipstick all the time or anything, but when I do want to just kind of bring my outfit out a little bit more and just like really look on point, I will bust out the red lipstick. The next tip I have is investing in either a military 
jacket or a leather jacket. I do not have a leather jacket. I have been trying to find the perfect leather jacket for so long. Every time I try them on, it either doesn't fit me right, it doesn't feel right, it's not the right color, it's not the right shade, it's not the right sheen. Like, I'm obviously picky when it comes to leather jackets. I didn't realize I was, but I just can't find one. But I do have a military jacket. It's this green military jacket. I seriously love it. It's not even like super dressy, but there's just something about it that when I wear it, whether it be casual or even dressy with heels, I get so many compliments on that jacket. Literally, so many compliments. And the same goes for leather jackets. I feel like it's just something that everybody can have and put on with almost any outfit. Like even with what I'm wearing right now, I could just throw it on and it just again elevates your look. As far as leather jackets, I think black is the way to go. I feel like they're so chic, they're so stylish, they're just on trend all the time. Like they just never go out of style. Um, but if you're gonna go for the military jacket, I do have an army green one, which I think is great. But if you're not a fan of green, I would definitely also go for the black military jacket. Kind of like the Ballman blazers that are kind of military style with the buttons that go down. Those are amazing. And so that actually leads me into my last tip designer dupes. Now, I don't really do this that often except for clothing. So like with the Ballman blazer, I'm not going to spend that much money. I think those retail for almost $1,000, give or take, it could be more, it could be less, and for one piece of clothing, I'm just not there yet where I'm willing to spend that much money on a clothing item. So I do look to other clothing places like H&M or Zara or Topshop, places like that where they do do more trendier pieces that are kind of based off of higher end designers. And I know a lot of people maybe don't like to do that, but for me, I feel like there are a lot of trends and I just know those trends go in and out. That way I can kind of like always be in style, but then at the same time incorporate all of my other tips that I just mentioned, the last nine tips, into the outfit. And I feel like overall, I'm very in style, I look expensive, I look put together, um, and I just feel great. And that's what's most important. So I hope you enjoyed my 10 tips. If you have additional tips, please, please, please comment them down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. I'm sure you have some better tips that I didn't even mention, but these are the ones that came to my head and I hope you enjoyed them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would love for you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, but otherwise I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.